Hey everybody, I'm Josh Jackson from WPSculptor.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a slideshow plugin with WordPress. Now, I really love this, this plugin. It's lightweight, it's very easy to use, and uh, it does come with several different options. What you're seeing right now is the automatic option where it just uh, shifts between each slide automatically, but you can set it to where the user has to click on these arrows to change the slides. Also, uh, you can set the slides to link to other pages when they're clicked on. For example, this one I've got it linked to my video page. When I click on that, it takes me directly to the video page. I'm also going to show you how to get these uh, images that I've used. There, It's a free stock photo website and it's really, really neat because you don't actually have to include anything, any reference back to the original work at all. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to resize them with Pixlr if you haven't seen that in previous videos. So let's just jump right into it. First thing you're going to do is log into the back end of your website by going to yourdomain.com forward slash wp dash admin. Log in with your credentials. All right, once you're logged in, go to Plugins on the left, Add New, click on that. And then you're going to search for Easing Slider Light. And then click on Search Plugins. All right, it's going to be this first one here. So go ahead and click on Install Now. Click OK. Alright, once the plugin is successfully installed, you're going to click on Activate Plugin. Alright, and now we have a new slideshow uh, menu item here. So let's go ahead and click on that and click on Edit Slideshow. Alright, this is where we have our slideshow options. But first, before we actually create our slideshow, we need to go and get our images. So I'm going to open a new tab, and for this example, I'm going to use a website called Pixabay.com. And Pixabay is an excellent resource for using free stock photos. You actually don't even have to get permission or give attribution um, for the work. So it, they're completely free to use, and you don't have to worry about anything. I'll show you um, what they say about that in a minute. but. Once you get there, we're just going to find some images on the slideshow. I'm going to use this one, so I'm just going to click on that. Then I'm going to click again on this image, and here it gives you the message. You can freely use any image, and you can read that for yourself. And then um, I'm going to use the 1280 by 960 file size. You have all these different options here, but um, my thought on that is you can always go smaller with an image. You can always resize it and go smaller, and I'm going to show you how to resize this here in just a moment. But you can't really go larger without losing quality, but you can you can go smaller and not lose quality. And we're going to use about half the size of the 1280, but we'll use, use the 1280 by 960. And I'm just going to click on download, and then we'll just open the file. Okay, and generally you would have to type in a captcha, but um, I've already done that, so I'm just going to move this to my desktop so it's easy to find. Okay, and I'm going to grab a couple of more from that slideshow. Grab this one, click again, and I'm going to use the 1024 by 768. If you have an account, you will be able to skip this step. And I'm going to grab one more. And I'll do the 1600 by 1200.
Okay, now that I've got all three of my images saved to my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and resize them. And I'm going to go to pixlr.com, P I X L R.com. It's an excellent free photo editing application. <clears throat> and you don't actually even have to download this, it's available online. So go to Pixlr Editor. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open an image from our computer. Click on that. And then we're going to find that first image we downloaded to open that up. And here I want to point out that um, we are viewing this at 82%. If we clicked here, bottom left there, and typed in 100, that would be 100%. And this would be the actual 1280 by 960. That's what we're looking at. Okay. But we're going to make this smaller. Let's just say 50% so that we have something to work with. And we're going to crop this image. And I'm going to show you if we take a look at the website that we're going to put the slideshow on. So I'm going to click on the about. This is our content section. Okay. I'm going to put the slideshow on a page that does have a sidebar. So we know we only have this much room to work with. So sometimes it takes uh, trial and error to figure out how uh, wide you actually want this image. But I know that this content section is about 610 pixels wide. So I'm going to make all of my images on the slideshow 610 pixels wide. And I'm just going to do 230 pixels tall. So to do that, go back to Pixlr. And you're going to click on the crop tool if it's not already selected, the top left tool there. And then we're going to change the constraint from no restriction to output size. And then on the width, we're going to type in 610 and on the height 230 and then once that's typed in you'll just go and you can click anywhere in this gray area and it'll automatically start at that corner and I'm just gonna click and hold and drag all the way down and then let go once I get the full image covered and then I'm gonna click and hold here in the middle and just drag this down to where I want it to crop let's just say right let's just say right here and then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to crop that down and again we're looking at this only at 50 percent so if we change this to 100 percent that is the actual size of our slideshow image so I'm going to go and save this file save 80 percent is fine I'm just going to call this slide one click OK and then I'm going to save this to my desktop so I know where it is and it'll be easy to find when we need to upload that to our site alright and then you're going to do the same thing to the other two images which um, it's the exact same process so I'm not going to demonstrate that again so that you don't have to waste your time okay now that I have all my images for the slideshow cropped I'm going to go back to the back end of my website and then um, to get here you would just click on slideshow on the left and we are going to go to add images click on that underneath manage slides and we're going to click on upload files and then select files and then we're going to find these files on our desktop and I named them slide one slide two and slide three so I'm just going to click on slide one hold down shift on the keyboard click on slide three and then click open and it's going to upload those to our media library. And then those are all going to be checked. If they weren't checked, what you could do is click on one and then hold shift on the keyboard and then click on the last one that you wanted to use and then it will automatically select all of them. Then you can click on insert into slideshow. All right, and we actually we can reorder these if we wanted to, but we have to save it first before we have that option. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the dimensions to 610 by 230, the same as the image size is for all of those images. And then I like to keep this checked, make this slideshow responsive. That means that uh, 
since the theme we're using is responsive, which means it scales down and shows on mobile devices, for example, um, the slideshow will also scale down and show on mobile devices in a really uh, clean way. And then under transitions, you have two options, the sliding effect and the fading effect. You can experiment with that. We'll leave it at slide. And then the duration of the effect, we'll just leave that at 500 milliseconds. And then you have the next and previous arrows. I like those to be on, so I have them enabled. And then um, I want them to be on all the time, not just when someone hovers over it. So I've got this on false. And then uh, let's under pagination, I like to keep that enabled as well. Just the default settings. And for automatic playback, you have the option to enable this to where the slideshow starts automatically when a user opens the page. Or if you disabled it, the user would have to go and click on each slide to change it. Click on the arrows, the forward arrow or the backward arrow for each slide. So we're just going to leave this enabled so it just starts automatically. And each slide will last four seconds. You could change this number here, but it's set to 400 or 4,000 milliseconds. So I'm just going to click on Save Slideshow. All right, and now we would be able to reorder these images if we wanted to. So if I wanted this one to be first, I could drag it over there, drag this one last if that's the order, and then I would go down and save the slideshow. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, put this on a page. I've already created a page called slideshow, so I'm just going to go to all pages, and I'm going to click on the slideshow page that I've created earlier. And to add the slideshow to this page, and you can do this to any page, but to add it to this particular page, you're going to use a short code. Make sure you're in the text editor, and then the short code is going to be in brackets, and it's going to be easing slider light, just like that. And then we're going to update the page. All right, now that we have that updated, go ahead and click on View Page. All right, and here we have our slideshow. And this little icon here just uh, only shows up when you're logged in so that you can click on it and quickly get back to edit the slide. But you can see each slide's lasting four seconds long. It's got the sliding effect, and we have our navigation arrows and our pagination right there. Now the last thing I want to show you how to do is uh, make one of these slides uh, a link so that you could actually hover over it and click on it and be directed to another page. And uh, to do that you can just click on this little icon here to get back to the slideshow editor. Alright and let's just say I want this second image to be a link. So click on that second image and all you have to do is copy and then paste your link right in to this line. So let's say I want that slide to link to my video page. I'm going to go to my video page and then I'm going to go to the top here and copy and paste this URL. Go back to my slideshow editor and then paste that in. And I don't want this to open up in a new tab or window. So something to notice here, if you just click once it'll jump back and forth and this option won't open so you have to click and hold on it and then while you're holding on it move down to the one you want I want it to open in the same window and just let go and then some SEO stuff you would want to give this a good title and alternate text so that search engines know what this image represents and then click on apply changes and then we're going to save the slideshow again go back to our website I'm going to click on the slideshow page and then now this is a link and you can click on it and it takes us to the video page. As always I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, favorite, etc. And also I've included a link to the full tutorial on how to create the same website that I used as a demonstration for the slideshow. I'll see you next time.